In the second segment of bacterial metabolism, we'll look at the electron transport chain. You can use a yellow highlighter. The electron transport chain is made up of molecules of increasing electronegativity. When you hear me say increasing electronegativity, all you really need to think of is stronger and stronger magnet. So if the electrons are attracted to the magnets, and each magnet is stronger than the one before it, then the electrons are going to go hop, 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 down to the biggest magnet of all, which is either oxygen or in humans, or maybe it's nitrogen or even sulfur. So down here, this is the strongest magnet. Strongest electron magnet. Loves to eat them. Gobble, 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 gobble. And we call it the final electron acceptor. Because who's going to be the final one? Well, the biggest magnet. So the final electron acceptor. And it's either oxygen or nitrogen or sulfur or possibly some other strong electron acceptor, although these are the ones I'm most familiar with. So what happens is the, each magnet is bigger than the one before, so the electrons are pulled to the first one, and then the next magnet takes it, and then the next magnet takes it, and they start flowing down this chain. And what happens then is as they're pulled to the final electron acceptor, that the movement, just like a hydroelectric dam, provides the energy to power up this machine called ATP synthase. ATP synthase starts churning out ATP as electrons flow by it. Lots and lots of ATP. lots. So the flow of electrons moves the ATP maker machine, which is ATP synthase.